Gang, check this out. This is a big gym Doom Devil Doom Buggy. Now, I had a ton of big gym stuff in the 70s as a little kid. I never had this. I have a version of this Doom Buggy. It's blue, came with a boat, but not this version. This version has headlights and a roll bar. Now, the front wheels I have here, you can adjust your front wheels. Go straight, left, or right. That's because this is battery powered. When I got it, it was missing the antenna. I'll tell you what that is in a second. Missing the steering wheel. Big Jim didn't come with him. That's a Big Jim I did a previous video of. I just stuck him in there so you'll see how he fits in the dune buggy. And if you was a kid of the 70s, you remember these dune buggies. I think they came out in the mid to late 60s, a uh, Manx Corporation. You buy, you order it through the magazine and put it on a Volkswagen pan and you got a dune buggy. I did ride in one as a kid in the early 70s. All I remember, it was loud and kind of not smooth riding. That's all I can tell you. I think it was green or an, a, a shade of green, some type. It was in South Georgia. It's hard to find them now, the uh, Manx Dune buggies. When you find them, people want a fortune for them. But back in, like when I was start, first got my driver's license, there was a family who, her father was buying them dirt cheap. He had all kind of these little Dune buggies, the Manx bodies, because they came with all kind of different setups. You got cabs on them and all that. He had a ton of them. So they were cheap. Nobody wanted them. Now they're a fortune. Let's get back to this. I picked this up, the guy was wanting $10 for it, and it didn't work, it was in pretty bad shape. I didn't know anything about it, like I said, I'd never had this. Battery compartment was clean, so I asked him did he have any batteries, and uh, he said no. So I told him, I offered him, you know, cut him right in half, and he said he'd, he'd go as low as eight, so I gave him seven. So he sold it to him for $7. Uh, got home, popped the steering wheel on it. Then I realized over here on this side, I, I'll, show, I'll flip it around and show you a second. There was a little hole there and didn't know what it was for, so I had to go online and there was a flag, antenna, with a flag on it. So I put some batteries in it and the little motor started screaming. Oh, it was horrible. I didn't have any of the correct type of oil and, I, and the body is actually glued together so I figured well if the motor's going to lock up I'm not going to take it apart to replace it because I don't want to take a chance of cracking either the body or the tub when I try to separate it because I've done that in the past. So I just took your average 3 in 1 oil, flipped it upside down, stuck it up above the motor and just kept squirting oil on it. It now works. Every now and then it'll scream but it works. I may need to put a little bit more oil in it. But let's check this dune buggy out. All right, now I've straightened the wheels up and it's fairly easy. Let me grab the other one. Wow, gang, we've been having a lot of rainstorms. Power just flipped. So, but we'll keep going with this. Uh, I'll reach in again. And you see, left and right. All right, now my blue dune buggy. I actually have a video of it. it. Does not have mounted headlights. It has decals. Now this came with, a, with an array of decals, but most of them are gone. They're missing. Uh, it had some kind of I don't know if it was something that rubbed up on it or a marker or what, but I had to clean off the very front of it. Roll bar had some rust on it, so I didn't submerge this in water because of the motor. So basically I just took a SOS pad and cleaned off the rust and wiped it back off. Alright, you know Big Jim has the number 9. There is no number 9 on it, but I think there was one on the, on the hood because it seems like all the other ones had that I saw online had a number 9 stuck on the hood. And someone on the back, maybe back in here or something. Uh, but it also, but it does have his little little flag insignia on the side. Now, 
talking about the flag the antenna I think it's supposed to be red I have to go back and look but I didn't know how I was going to handle this because there's a little hole right here for the antenna to stick in and there's a little yellow flag that's attached to the top of the top of the antenna what I did is I went to work and I went into the cafeteria and grabbed two coffee stirs I got an extra one brought them home and it fits perfect and it's just flexible enough so I think that's the same thing it might even be the same height I'm trying to judge that but I'm not able to do a, an exact matchup on the antenna that's attached to the ones I see online so but I am gonna give me some yellow tape and make me a small flag now the yellow tape has I mean, the, the yellow flag, the original one, if I ain't mistaken, has this insignia on it, the stars. I'll just have to be minus the stars. I'm going to pick the camera up, show you it has the uh, compartment in the back, and just get a little shot of the interior. Now that steering wheel I put on there, I'm gonna, I think the steering wheel is supposed to be black. I'm going to try to get one. I've been watching eBay, see if I can get a black steering wheel or a damaged jungle truck with a steering wheel and usable parts that way I can have them for another truck because I don't want to I could put a sharpie to work on this but I really don't want to I just want to get a black one because this I took out of another truck uh, sunshine family truck I have an extra one of those so I took it out and stuck it in that same truck same steering wheel all right here's the back and you see the chrome is like all plastic toys that had chrome dip on them chrome is a lot of it's lost it's just not there anymore I'm not going to get any spray chrome and try to re-chrome I'm just going to leave it like that because man, it's got a lot of plate wear and then let me open it up there's your batteries these are brand new batteries so I don't know how fast this thing is supposed to run but I'm reaching and grab a gear shifter now if you notice this is the power wheel pretty wobbly and it does go, it doesn't let me turn it back off it only goes forward unless you flip the batteries around then it will go by only backwards <laughs> Uh, and I'll show you the, the, the selector how uh, I should show you before I did that the selector is a, is a cool gear shifter and all you do is push it to the right to turn it on and pull it back to the left turn it off and I, like I said I'm fortunate that the battery compartment was perfectly clean okay there's your gear shifter and like I said shift it over to the right it powers it turn shift it to the left it just kills it alright gang I put Jim back in it there's a backpack that I put in the luggage compartment when I put the batteries in this dune buggy and got the motor quieting down I put it on a carpet I don't have thick carpet or anything but it did okay going forward now I don't know how fast this thing is originally supposed to go and I can't imagine it went too fast well, going straight it didn't do too bad but when I adjusted the steering to turn to a right as I to do a circle it basically just pushed it straight it, I mean well most of the weights in the back anyway and I figure when I put Jim in it, it would help weight it down but it still pushed it did start turning but it still pushed so I'm gonna try it on the linoleum eventually but if you guys have never had this and you collect big Jim 
This is a cool big gym item. Wasn't looking for it. Uh, didn't know it existed for Big Jim, but I do have a, a quick story. I, I know a guy, and I, I've seen him on, you know, at trade shows when I'd be selling and he'd be selling. He actually had this dune buggy, but it didn't have any stickers on it at all. No stickers, no antenna. And I was looking at it, and he offered it to me, but I thought it was a Barbie dune buggy, so I didn't pick it up. He offered me to do it real cheap. Bat and I told him, I said, look, it's battery powered. He didn't even know it was battery powered. He didn't even care for it. He didn't know what air it came from. It wasn't the kind of toys he dealt in. So he ended up selling it for, for almost nothing at that show. Like I said, it had no decals, no nothing. And I could have got it really cheap back then, but I didn't know this doom buggy existed for Big Jim. Uh, some of the decals on the wheels are supposed to be like decals around the edge of the rim. They're all gone. Maybe somebody will start reproducing decals for Big Jim. I need to get some reproduction decals big time. All right, gang, if you got it, Miss Antenna, coffee stirrer, I think it's supposed to be red. Next time I stop at a gas station that sells coffee, I'm going to see if they have red ones. But I do have, I did grab two black ones. And uh, they're due for now. That's it for this video, gang. Appreciate you viewing. Have a great day.